Hi, this is Ed with Ed's Two Cents Worth. This little tractor here um, is now a hydraulic loader. It originally was a loader that operated by electric actuators. Uh, it ran on 24 volts. I took some pictures, some videos of it running under uh, the electrical system and then I removed all of the electrical and I replaced the system with a hydraulic system and then I took more videos. So what you're about to see is first of all the electrical and its performance and then the hydraulic and its performance. Same tractor nothing different same loader the only difference is that it is actuated by hydraulics versus the electrical actuators so uh, let's get into it i'm going to grab hold of the camera and do a quick walk around so that you can see the tractor as it is now and uh, uh, hopefully this will be helpful to you in regard to your deciding do I want to go with hydraulics or do I want to go with uh, electrical. I will be giving you my opinions in regard to the performance. You can take that with a grain of salt if you want. Uh, that's totally up to you. So let's get started. So here it is. It's a little dirty right now. But uh, it's a nice running tractor, uh, good running engine, very smooth transmission. And you can see the hydraulics as far as the cylinders are concerned and the hoses and how all of that is routed. I use a spool valve here. To give me my controls I have at the top of my spool valve this is an electric button now my pump is a 12 volt electric gear pump and uh, this controls turning it on and turning it off so you can hear that so the pump only runs when I press that button. And coming back, you can see the routing of the hoses. And there's the pump. There's the battery underneath. Right now, that battery there is just being used as ballast. But that uh, platform will hold two batteries. Okay, so up next is the showing you the electric performance, and then I'll show you the hydraulic performance. Now what you're looking at here is, of course, the electric loader, uh, putting about 175, 180 pounds on uh, the loader. Now you're not actually going to see any movement of the loader itself. I'm not going to operate the uh, actuators, but uh, it does illustrate that the tractor can carry a, a nice load for a residential purpose. The video that's showing next, uh, you'll hear sound of the, the motor. That's in real time. So uh, uh, when usually when you hear sound, in these videos, it's real time. If it's quiet, it's uh, a double time.
Take note of the bucket speed. This is real time. Seems rather slow, doesn't it? Again, this is real time. Now, you're going to see a little glitch in the film. Uh, I looked away and took the camera with it, and that's I'm just cutting that part out. You're seeing the, the same operation here uh, in real time. Well, now that we've seen the electrical performance, Let's take a look at the hydraulic performance. Now, I've tried to match up these tasks as close as I possibly could. For example, um, picking up blocks and concrete uh, in the hydraulic, all I'm doing is picking up blocks, but I'm picking up more blocks, uh, trying to keep the load about the same. Uh, so you're going to see performance slightly different, but take note, really, and here is the significant difference for someone that's building a loader. Take note of the speed in which the arms lift and the bucket turns. That's what you need to really be taking note of in regards to the performance because that's where um, it gets to where it's either aggravating or pleasurable. Okay? Both electric and uh, the hydraulic have done everything I've asked it to do, but the speed of the hydraulic seems to be faster. So take note of it in comparison to the electric. Now this is in double time shown here, so the operation of the lift is going to seem a little faster than it really is in real life. There's approximately going to be about 200 pounds of blocks put on this uh, uh, loader bucket and it handles it quite nicely. This too is also in normal speed and you notice how easily the bucket lifts. With the hydraulics there's really very little difference with a loaded bucket and an unloaded bucket. They're just very strong and there's no strain to it. Once again, normal speed.
dumping these logs is also in normal speed. You're seeing it in real time. need to move the boat or the trailer so that you can mow underneath it no sweat this is in real time Did you notice the difference between the electric and the hydraulic? Primarily I'm talking about speed. Uh, the hydraulic was just much more pleasurable to operate because of that quicker speed, both lifting and tilting of the bucket. Both systems, the electric and the hydraulic, did everything I asked it to do under a residential setting, okay? Whether it was carrying something or smoothing things out or moving uh, the trailer or whatever, it could do all of it. And either, either case, the main difference was the speed. Now I will say that the hydraulic is, is more heavy duty than the electric. You can get the electric kind of in a bind where there's a Potential for breaking the uh, actuators. Uh, in fact, on another tractor, I actually had that happen, but it didn't. It, this this one held up under everything I did with it. But uh, overall, I have to say that I'd recommend, if you can afford it, I'd recommend the hydraulic. The now, when I'm talking about this, I'm not talking about building the, the loader itself. I'm talking about the systems that operate the loader. So this is an added expense to uh, what I'm about to say. So depending on what that is and what the tractor is, if you go out and buy a tractor, then, you know, those are added expenses. But the electric actuator system running on 24 volts. I had to buy 24 volt batteries. I used a popular tool uh, brand to have the batteries. If you do that, you want to have at least probably at least four amp hour. Recommend six or greater amp hour. Um, so it ran off of 24 volts, had three actuators, one each for the arms and one for the bucket for tilting the bucket. Of course the wiring switches and things like that. Roughly a $400, $450 investment, okay, to get into it. As opposed to the hydraulic, the hydraulic first off seems to be more heavy duty. Uh, you can kind of beat this thing up and it's not going to, I mean, the, the loader itself is going to break probably before the hydraulics break, where it was the opposite with the actuators. The actuators will probably give and break before uh, the loader would. But in any case, you've got more heavy dutiness, you've got more speed, and quite frankly, the speed makes the operation more pleasurable but the cost is more expensive. Uh, about a thousand dollars to set this one up, depending on your circumstances, you know, a thousand dollars plus or minus a hundred dollars, okay? Because you've got all kinds of things. You've got the cylinders, you've got the hoses, you've got the spool valve, you've got the pump, you've got fittings, 
there's there's a lot to it. It's really a more complicated system, the hydraulics is, but the performance overall, in my opinion, is better, mainly because of the speed. So I'm hoping this kind of helps you out. Uh, as you notice that the tractor was exactly the same throughout the video. So what you saw, uh, the tractor had nothing to do with a change in performance. Okay, it was strictly the system that operates the loader that made the difference. So those are my recommendations. If you can afford it, go with hydraulics. If you can't afford it, then go with uh, probably a 24 volt actuator system. And I've got other videos on uh, that talk about how to do that. So you can investigate those. But there'll be more videos with other projects that I have. And uh, uh, hopefully you'll tune in. I hope you'll hit the like button and uh, even subscribe. Thank you for watching.